Alrighty, boys and girls, in this video, I will go over how to do the H, I, and J, both uppercase and lowercase, okay? So beginning with the H, we're gonna start here, do a little loop, go down pretty much, okay? And then we're gonna start here again. I really like the H like that, okay? So I'm gonna do it again, and this time have it lean that way which is the way it should go. There we go, okay. All right, so that's how you do the H. All right, now the lowercase h. Start the bottom, loop, come down, and come back up. It looks very similar to the manuscript h, okay? So start at the bottom, touch the top, come down, and loop. All right, Winnie, shh. All right, now for the eye, Winnie, So we're gonna go this way. We're gonna start here at the bottom. We're gonna go up and come back. Kind of like the B, do a little scoop in. Sorry about my dog. All right, so that's kind of the way it should look, but it's a little bit slanted. So I'm gonna try again. Still haven't figured out why Winnie's barking so much more. Okay, so this is the eye. I'm not proud of the eye. <laughs> so um, I'll be the first to tell you to check uh, the other great videos I put in your, um, in your ELA calendar and you might wanna look at those. This one's really good, that's my favorite. Okay, the lowercase i is very easy. It looks very similar to the manuscript i, okay? You have it lean one way, and then you have to give it a little tail, put the dot. Now, if you're writing a word with the i, you don't do the dot until you're done with that word, okay? Now, um, let me show you. You can easily connect the i with other eyes then you put the dots, okay? So go ahead and do two lines of the I. Now let's go to the J. Start here, go all the way down. It's kind of a little bit like a backwards F. All right, let's try again. There we go, okay. That is a capital J. Um, the top part does need to be bigger than the bottom part for sure. Okay, so I think this one might be my favorite of the ones I just made. Remember when I said I'm not an expert? I do like cursive handwriting. Um, and, you know, I don't really use it very much. So the only time I do get to practice when I teach it, and I do like to teach it. I think it does look beautiful. All right, and now let's do the lowercase j. Okay, so the lowercase j, you start at the bottom, you go up to the middle, you come all the way down and back up, and then you put the little dot. This one kind of looks very similar to the manuscript j. So, Today you got a bunch of easy ones. Uh, and also you can easily connect the J's, okay? See how many times you could connect. All right, thank you.